All right, welcome back. So what I have here is a little hack I wanna show you guys. Um, I get asked about this every time somebody comes into my shop. And primarily what it has to do with is this right here. This DeWalt, it's a DW735. It's a 13 inch planer. People have have had a hard time with the um, the chip extraction because you can't hook up a vacuum to it. You can't hook up dust collection to it because it blows, all, it has its own exhaust in it and it has its own fan to expel the chips and it blows all the chips out of the back here. So if you try to hook up a shop vac or any kind of dust collection, what's gonna happen is it's all gonna get clogged up in here and you're not gonna get rid of your chips and you're gonna to have to take the hood off and you're gonna to have to clean it. So, you know, I I searched on, on the web trying to find a solution for this. And what I noticed was, is that a lot of people were using these dust right bags. And what they were doing is, is they were taking the bag and they were just basically connecting it right here. They would just take a hose clamp Connected right here, and yes, while this will catch the chips, the biggest problem with this is, is you get dust everywhere, everywhere. So you still have to wear a respirator whenever you're doing your, uh, doing your planing. This is a 30 micron bag, and if you look at the outside of it, if you see this part, that is where it's white here. That's where I vacuumed it. This right here, that's all dust built up on this bag. Needless to say, I mean, yes, it catches the chips, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't catch the dust. So your shop will get very, very dusty in a hurry. So that's a quick little demonstration on how much dust is actually on this bag. And again, it's a 30 micron bag, but even if you have a five micron bag, these dust particles are oftentimes even smaller than five micron. So I was tired of the dust being everywhere, everywhere. I mean, you can look at this and see how dusty this is. It's right behind my planer. And I haven't I haven't cleaned this, but that's that's all sawdust right there. All of that is sawdust from where I just had the bag uh, catching the chips. So I wanted to find a better solution because I was tired of the dust being everywhere. So what I did was is I went to the hardware store and I got some four inch duct work some rigid flex and what I did was I took a 90 degree elbow I used aluminum tape and taped it onto the rigid flex which is this here taped that on and put a hose clamp around it to seal it to seal it tight and then on the other side this right here is just a four inch to three inch coupler. And what I use this for is, is to put in the bag. Now, after that, I will take and put the bag right there in that trash can. And I have had no more issues whatsoever with the dust because all the dust is contained in that right there. So let me show you how I put this together. You're also gonna need about three or four of these hose clamp here. I think these hose clamps are four and a half inch hose clamps. So what I do is, is I take this, this 
right here, this four and a half inch piece of uh, vent pipe, this elbow for duct work. I put it on the back of the planer. Just like so. And then I will take my hose clamps. And I will put a hose clamp on here to keep it secure. Okay, now we got our fitting hooked onto our planer. And this is the bag that I'm using. Uh, you can find these on Rockler's website. It's dust right. And you can see all the dust that comes out of this thing. Imagine just having this behind that. And it, I mean, this thing shoots the chip. I, it freaking shoots them out hard. If you're standing behind that thing, you, you get hit with some of those chips, they'll cut you. So the next thing we're doing is etch our duct work to here. On the lid, and what you wanna do is you just wanna cut out about a four inch hole in the top of this lid here, which you can get a um, hole saw and do that, make quick work of it. Uh, but even if you don't have a hole saw that size, you can also get, you can use a smaller drill bit and you can trace around it and then just use your uh, utility knife and just cut around it. Pretty simple. Just slide this into the hole. I'm gonna make sure that gets in there a pretty good ways so the bag has plenty to connect to. And again, you want to use this aluminum tape to uh, seal these things, seal the couplers and the attachments to this, um, to this um, duct work. Just work in there. And once you get this in, you will never have to do this again. This is a one time job. So now that we got the duct work in the garbage can, the next thing we're gonna do is take our dust right, Rockler dust right bag. Make sure the bottom is secured. And we are going to, there's a little string that comes with it. We're gonna tie it on there. And then we're gonna get our other hose clamp. And the good thing about this is this little setup is, is you don't need you don't need any kind of exhaust. Now the next thing we're going to do is, is we're going to take these bungee straps here, and there's some handles you can see that have holes in them where these handles are on both sides. And we're just going to connect our bungee straps to it. Everybody that has seen this, as I told y'all before, that's tried it themselves has had a ton of success with it. Now, I don't know if anybody else came up with this design before I did, but I pretty much can I thought of it on my own. There we go. And there it is. 
Now watch this. Let's turn the planer on. And we'll start planing. Let's see how our dust extraction works. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. That worked brilliantly. Now, you don't have to always get, you don't have to get the aluminum uh, duct work. You can get uh, some of the smooth plastic kind or even the rib plastic kind. Either one of them will work. But uh, let's take a look and see how she did. See how she fared. Yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. As you can see. Mm, not if you can see real well, but nothing in the bottom. It's all in this bag here, which you probably can't really tell, but yeah. So that's it. That's what I use, and I couldn't be happier with it. The only issue with this is, is just having to take the bag out and dump it. Um, but you're going to have to do that anyway. If you're uh, using any kind of dust collection, you're going to have to get rid of the, the shavings and the dust and the chips or whatever it's catching. But uh, again, I appreciate anybody watching. Um, if you got something out of this, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And uh, I'll keep on pumping out the content. Y'all have a good one.